business and someone who wears hair and do hair should know this we like our hair full baby Hey babes and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Susie. What's good? What's popping? To all of my new subscribers, what's up? What's up? Thank you for joining the Sue Game family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to all my returning subscribers. What it do? What's good? What's popping? Pooh, what's up? <sighs> okay, so y'all today's topic is gonna be a little girl's talk and today's topic is going to be on drum roll please ain't no drum roll we finna get to it because <sighs> yeah i know we all that had this experience mm. okay somebody ain't do laundry too good see this thing right here and this shirt is clean and i literally just got this out the drawer <laughs> and look at this thing wait whatever because it ain't nothing but a g thing baby but anyways so but i know we done all had this same type of experience getting our hair done so i'm gonna get into it i got two of them to talk about i want to try somebody else because i think her work and her work looked at you know phenom phenomenal like slays like she slays like when i say she does her shit she do her shit like especially on like on frontals like laying frontals and closures and stuff like that i really love my hair like this i'm actually talking about this style uh i didn't post on my social media who, who did my hair or where i was going to get my hair i don't think she even posted like a video or a picture up on her page of my hair so this is cool and like i'm really not I'm, I'm not trying to start no bullshit or nothing like that but this is something that us as women go through when we going to get our hair done we pay our money and we don't get you know what we want like we already spending two three hundred dollars on some bundles that's first and foremost and then some of y'all charging 150 and up for install and nine times out of ten, you gotta come wash, you gotta come blow dry, and whatnot like that. So, okay, cool. I did my part. I can't wash, blow dry, hair combed out. And on top of that, my closure was already bleached. And um, the front closures in front of that I will be selling will be HD, and they will come pre-plucked already. So. Anyways, mass was pre-plugged, so she really didn't have too much to work to do with me or whatever. So, first off, my appointment was coming up. And I'm trying to see where I have to drive to. Because I had to work. So, after I got off work, I literally had to go there to, know, you know, get my hair done. So, it's literally the day before... And I still don't know where I'm going. Like, where am I supposed to be going? I need an address. So, I'm hitting the person up on social media's no response. And then I go back on the site, like, to look and see, like, do it say the address will be sent to you the day of your appointment. Ooh, yada, yada, yada. So... It wasn't sent so the day of I'm at work and I'm kind of like like what the what the fuck? I need the address I don't know where I'm going Ooh. so I end up getting a text it was the day of the appointment hi you have an appointment with me today but my day has been pushed back because I had to go get my car this morning. So I will need you to come at 3 p.m. instead of 1. And y'all, I still don't have an address. So I'm like, I'm blue first off. Because this was at 10. Well, you might as well say 11 o'clock. It was at 10.58. And my appointment was at one i don't know if it could have took me 45 minutes to get there like you don't know what i had planned 
or anything like that, you know. Like, it's just, a lot of stuff is just so unprofessional. And now I see why pe a lot of people say that they don't like doing business with black-owned people or whatever. Because it's like, some of this stuff is common sense. I would never do something like that. But anyways, so, um... I'm like, that's the earliest you have. I didn't even speak back because I was already annoyed because, like, I already hit you up on social medias and emailed you and I didn't get, uh, you know, that's the earliest you have because I have something to do and I need the address. Yes, that's the earliest I got a client before you. So, I'm like, I need the address. Then she sent the address. It was just unprofessional to me, honestly. But, sis, you slay. To each his own. If that's how people want to run their business, then that's fine. We kind of pulled up at the same time. So, she left the door open. I came in, I walked in the house. And I had to speak. Like... I'm paying you some money. You finna get in my head. So me, I'm not the person that's going to, you know, make a big deal out of anything. I'm just, you know, go with the flow. I'm here to get my hair done. I'm not here to make no friends. Like, but if I do hair and someone's coming to my house, I'm going to speak. Hey, how you doing? I'm Susie. Woo, yada, yada, yada. If anything else, you know. So, I don't know if she was having a bad day, but I really don't care. So, anyways. So, I'm like, okay, cool. Um, so, I'm like, hey, how you doing? She like, hey. Cool, getting stuff ready. I sit in the chair. Time goes by. She's, you know, bra braiding my hair and whatnot. Like, literally, we had... When I say the whole time I was there, we barely had any conversation. Like, we watch TV, and I think stuff, like, she was saying stuff about the show, like, literally, it was like, it wasn't no conversation, and it was like, I tried to start a conversation, because it was kind of like, it was just weird to me, like, I tried to start a conversation, so I asked, like, how long you been doing hair, stuff like that, but, y'all, it was just weird, but I'm sitting here a couple hours, so, but y'all that's weird it's, it was just like I wouldn't do that like honestly and like I actually never that's my first time actually having some to experience something like that like which was super weird or whatever but yeah it's over my hair done and I'm out um but yeah that was one thing and then I paid a hundred fifty dollars or whatever and this is like a big thing right here. Ladies, this is big. And someone who wears hair and do hair should know this. We like our hair full, baby. I already need to pay for these bundles. So I want all these bundles in my head. I don't want to walk out with uh, almost a whole bundle to do a ponytail. I don't want, I don't want that if I want to... A damn near bundle left over then I will only brought two bundles so I want when I'm getting my hair done yes I want all of my hair sewed in my hair like it's okay if I have a little weft like this big or like this big you know something that's like okay cool um it's cool like but for me to leave out with almost a whole extra bundle let me see if i can find it matter of fact it's actually still in the bag like this is like almost a whole nother bundle like i can make a ponytail out of this it'll be a little stingy but still like bro why do I have that much hair left out like that? Y'all, that really blew me. And then it was, I feel like it was kind of too late to say something. And I don't want to start nothing. I'm in somebody's house. And usually, like, when somebody doing my hair, I kind of feel so I can learn. That's how I learn how to do most of my stuff. So when I lay this closure down, 
I'm gonna lay this. I'm gonna slay it because I kind of felt how she was doing it or whatever. I actually, when I got home, you know how you feel through your hair. Then, like in the back part, like I have spaces about this big. My hair, like my tracks wasn't laid. Like, let me see if I can show y'all. So look at this, like these is big spaces. I hope I'm showing y'all, but these spaces is like huge, like with no, no track right here. Like you see all braids. So like when I got home, I felt that I got a little upset. Cause again, I paid $150 for this. Yeah, like bro, <sighs> they just blew me all over again. I just feel like if you got people that's coming and spending their money with you, do they hair good? Like I, I, lo I still love my hair, but I feel like it was kind of a little. It's a little stingy. It's not like full. And I got braids with no hair sewn on them. Like, but it is what it is. Lesson learned. I would love for her to do my hair again, but probably I don't know if she she watches my channel, but she probably won't do my hair again. So that's okay too. But like I said, I don't want no problems. I'm just making a video in, I feel like, as a stylist and as a person that wears weave, this is stuff that you should know. Like, this, like, think about you going to your beautician or whoever does your hair and you come out and you get spaces in the back of your head about that big or bigger with no tracks and you got a ponytail left of tracks that you spent your money on and now you end up ain't even gonna be able to wear that because but i'm gonna make it work because i don't like wasting my money but anyways yes that's one story so we're gonna go with the story number two okay so me and my best friend we was out at the um where were we? we was at the nail shop and when i say this girl had came in and her braids when i say braids was on point pool like her braids was fire so i'm you know instantly me i'm like oh my god i love your braids like because i'm not the hating type if i see a cute girl i'm saying oh my god you're so cute and she's like oh my god you too we are so cute period boo but anyways no 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 no, no. <laughs> i'm so mm. but so i seen them i'm like oh your braids are so cute who did them so we was in the area she told me who did them i'm like yes so of course me i remember that name so my little niece uh my best friend um daughter she gets braids a lot so i'm like oh she was gonna get some braids so i'm like oh best friend what about the girl that told us the other girl name at the shop i literally um found found a girl or whatever and i booked the appointment on online and best friend wasn't gonna have time to wash her daughter's hair or whatnot so um i put down on there that i'm gonna come early and this was kind of her rules come early if you need to get washed so i put down on there that i'm gonna come early because she needs to get washed so we came early i can't really say too much about um when my best friend went in there but she came out with attitude and best friend usually don't get no attitude and then she was telling me like i really don't even want her to get her hair done no more you know like i don't even want to leave her there because it was just like i guess so unprofessional no oh pause it right there so when we got there i'm like let me see i'm gonna call and because we it's like a suite it was a little building and it's kind of like off of a main street so it's one way to come in 
and it's like a little the spot in the middle and then it's like a parking lot all the way around so i never been here before best friend never been here before so i'm like okay let me call so i can know which door to go in so i called on the phone it was like it seemed like it was already an attitude there like hello hey how you doing i'm outside i'm trying to see which door to come in i got an appointment you know so she say it's in the front so me i instantly get blue because the front is off the main street and is nor no door on the front so she could have said the right side of the building there's a door and you know you could press the bell and i let you in you know like stuff like that like where's the information and i never been to your spots so like a little more information so i'm like okay you know like i was just like okay i'm like we'll figure it out but so when it was time she and she actually finished like at a decent time because we had left and went to the mall um so she had text and was like her daughter texted that she was ready whatever whatever so we get back so i had ended up going in with her or whatever so when i went in i just felt like a negative energy like it was just off so she was actually doing somebody else here so, uh, my best friend was asking, like, how much do she owe? And I think it was, like, 120 130 or something like that. Which I feel is a lot of money for braids, but her work is worth it. So, like, you know how ladies, we don't mind spending no money on our hair. So, the money wasn't really a problem. The problem was, so she was like, um, how much I owe you? She, she said, like, how much it was. And... Best friend, I think, only had her card. So, I'm like, oh, wow. She only got her card. Do you take Zello or Cash App or anything like that? So, the response I got, mind you, she's doing somebody else. The response I got, I'm going to actually play it out. So, I'm over here. I'm like, do you do um Cash App, Zello, PayPal, or anything like that? So, she braiding somebody here. Literally looking at me like this. no words spoken i'm like so you ain't got nothing of that sort she like so i'm like at this point i'm blue like bro like what's wrong with people i don't care if i'm having a bad day i'm not finna be rude to somebody that's coming to me giving me their money you know like I'm not. That's like me going to do a sale to one of my customers that's getting some lashes and I'm, huh, huh, or not responding when I'm supposed to be meeting up with them. Like, it's just, it's just a lot with this business stuff that I feel like people should, you know, kind of already, like, especially when you've been doing it for a while, too, like, it's just like, bro. Like, it's unacceptable unacceptable to me. Like, I don't know. I don't know what's, what makes y'all want to act like this. I don't know if y'all think acting like this is okay or what. But I feel like treat your customers and clients like you would want to be treated if you was going somewhere getting your hair done. Like, we all ladies, we all get our hair done. We all pretty much, I'm sure, had some type of experience like what I'm talking about. Let me know if y'all had a bad experience going to get y'all hair done. Comment down below. But let me know if y'all feel like I'm overreacting about the situation or anything. Like, let me know. Or whatnot. But, um... If y'all like these curls for the girls, I made a video on how to keep this curly look for 24 hours or longer. And it actually holds. So make sure y'all check it out. I will list it down below and it will be at the end of the video. But yeah, those are my stories. And I just feel like be more professional because the stuff that I went through, especially with the person that did my hair, it was unacceptable to me like 
address on the day of the appointment and the appointment was pushed back all type of stuff but yeah that's all i got i know i've just sit here and talk y'all y'all but that story was good right y'all can't say it wasn't and your girl look cute so i gave y'all something to look at that's super cute me little old me and this hair is also Susie collection okay make sure y'all stay tuned for the release date on that but that's all i got for you um give this video a big thumbs up subscribe down below hit the bell button to be notified when you girl post in i'm out Mwah. peace